The locomotive of any type can be a powerful mode of transport to travel on. And the Model Engineer Society have the power behind the good yard and sidings to capture the glory days of steel. Join us for the Miniature Railway Adventures. Episode 3, Casey, Whitehouse and the Toy Cars, written by Whitehouse Films and based on a story by John Connor. Summer had arrived again at the Model Engineer Society. The warm breeze swept through the trees and branches while the birds sang happily as they sat on the treetops. But the quiet morning didn't last long, however, for the sound of a traction engine could be heard as it noisily made its way towards the workshops. Okay, to the no, 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 to the right! Forward! Okay, a little slower. Okay, that's fine. Wait, there was a cap there. Never mind. What on earth is going on out here? Don't mind us, Jane. We're taking, just checking out the boiler here. Well, you won't be able to get there with that lock blocking the path. Smack it out. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it. Blocking Corsan's path were two vans. He knew the blue one belonged to White House, but who's the other one? Never saw this van before. What transit took it? Well, no one knows who owns the Ford, so it looks like we're stuck with it until the owner gets back. Well, whoever vans this is, it's not stopping us from getting through. Full steam ahead! White House Films was busy getting his equipment from the ticket office. Today, he and Casey Jr. were going to another railway club that they'd just joined, and he was getting Puffer ready for a good run. Okay, my lad, let's get you over to that loading ramp. White House! Oh, hi, Jane. Oh, White House, I'm glad I found you. Listen, your van's blocking the road to the workshops and Corpse is trying to get past with a traction engine. Would you mind moving it, please? Aye, right, Corpse, just give me a few minutes, would you? By the way, you haven't seen Casey about, have you? Uh, no, but he phoned not that long ago saying that his dad's car broke down and he wants to know if you can pick him up. Oh, he knows I will. Right, give me a few minutes here and I'll go and get this van sorted out. By now, Corsan was losing his temper, and so were the other members. It was like the Friday afternoon rush hour at the tea rooms. Cars queued up behind the truck's engine, honking their horns loudly, while some of the members tried to help move the engine. What's going on here? Honestly, you can't leave this place for five minutes and look at it. Oh, that's what it's all about. Why didn't anyone tell me about that? So... After all this time, the Ford belonged to cars? Yeah, sorry guys for all the trouble. My dad's busy moving some furniture around the house and we hired the van for the day. It must be the first traffic jam we've had at this club. I'll be off soon. Hi everyone, what's happening here then? White House, can I grab you for a minute? Oh yeah, sure. A parcel arrived for me today, containing some uh, model cars from my collection. While you're collecting Casey, can you drop it off at my place? The parcel should be in the club room. I uh, sure think, guys. I'll make sure it gets there safely. That's great. Thank you very much. See you later now. At last, Corpsan could move the traction engine to the workshops. Carlos thought he'd wasted enough time and moved off, while the rest of the members moved their cars to their parking spaces, leaving Whitehouse's van and Boomer, the club's pet, with the road to themselves. Have you got my sandwiches, Jane? I'm heading off now. Uh, yeah, just give me a sec. Uh, uh, here we are. I wrapped them up for you so they wouldn't spoil. Oh, thanks. 
<laughs> it looks like the parcel cars is gaming just now. <laughs> I bet I'll get these here mixed up then. You'll be hungry if you do. Oh, and White House, bring Boomer with you for the run. His owner's away for a few days, and we haven't time to look after him. Yeah, all right. Bye for now. Right, that's puffer loaded. Oh, hello, Boomer. You're with me and Casey today. Come on, can you get? Right. Now, then, Boomer, we better leave cars as parcel off first. With something special, very rare model cars. Won't be long, Bimmer. Oh, must be Kari's parents' car. I'll leave these here with them. That's odd. Maybe, maybe they didn't hear it. Maybe if I knock. Whoops. Um. Hello? Anybody in? Well, I'll leave the parcel here. It'll be quite safe. Casey Jr. was waiting patiently when White House arrived. You took your time, didn't you? Ah, uh, sorry, Kiss. I had to do another job for cars. Hello, Boomer. What's he doing here? Oh, we're mining him for the day while his owner's away for a while. <laughs> you should have seen what happened earlier today. Why? What happened? Well, it all started off when Corpse was bringing the traction engine for repairs, you see, when all of a sudden he had to stop because the road was blocked. Well, I've driven them before, and I've never had this problem. <laughs> so all that time it belonged to cars? Yeah. Oh, you should have seen Cross's face here when cars moved it away. <laughs> it was completely priceless. Right, here we are. You don't get Lady Grange steamed up and I'll get Puffer unloaded. Could we not get a bite to eat first? Yeah, help yourself to one of my sandwiches there. I think I made a bit too many here and they need used up. Uh, they're in the brown bag over there. Have you got anything apart from sandwiches? Sorry, Kiss, that's all I got. Uh, tell me, what sort of sandwiches did you make? Uh, salami, pepperoni, and cheese. Why do you ask? Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but it seems like they've turned into a Dodge Charger and the Ford GT. What are you talking about? Let me have a look. Oh, heck. I must have left them somewhere. Didn't you say you were doing a job for cars earlier oh, on? God, yep. Yeah. This is the parcel I was meant to deliver to his house. And I must have left my sandwiches there by mistake. Well, let's go and change them before any passengers arrive. Right, come on. 